Bone dry fields are drying up and northeastern Montana is roasting in hot temperatures and continued sunshine. An extreme drought is affecting not only the soil, but the wallets and livelihoods of farmers, ranchers and residents in multiple Montana counties. Montana producers are expecting some major losses from the extreme drought. The Montana Stock Growers Association and the Montana Grain Growers Association anticipate monetary losses of more than $100 million, with some producers being forced into bankruptcies or foreclosures. Meteorologist Mike Rollins hit the road to tell the stories of those being impacted the most by this drought. And Mike, you join us tonight from Glasgow. How are Valley County residents responding? This community is banding together to weather this drought. Farmers and ranchers here are dealing with some of the worst conditions since the 80s, but they are not losing hope even as conditions get worse day by day. There's a whole generation of operators who have never seen it as dry as it's going to might be. Lee Cornwell's family has been on this land since 1892 and they've weathered worse. But this year's flash drought is taking its toll. But you can see it's gone now. The land is drying up following the driest spring in 100 years. Crops aren't coming up and there isn't much food for raising cattle. The whole community lives and dies on rain. But I'm sure if you, if you interview the business people in Glasgow, they're already feeling the effects of it. And every day it's going downhill. And farm equipment dealer Galen Zerby says it's already hurting his bottom line. You normally sell, I don't know, 10, 12 balers and I think we've maybe sold one this year and it was pre-sold. Spring wheat is one of the hardest hit crops with a huge downturn in production. The U.S. Spring Wheat Condition Index shows a dismal start to the 2017 growing season with little hope in sight. It's just bleak, but we're a tough community and we're going to get through it. It's, um, it's a little dry. Former Sheriff Glenn Meyer says the 80s were worse and he's staying optimistic despite a poor growing season. Last year easily I put up 333 bales in what I custom hay here for myself every year on my own property. This year I put up 22 and a half bales. And while the drought worsens day by day here, the community is staying strong. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. It's, it can always get worse and I, I feel we'll just be fine. Every day we're closer to a, a flood <laughs> and every day we're closer to a, a good rainstorm. Now, Mike, you've been tracking this developing drought really for the past few months now. What are some of the areas, uh, where are some of the areas that are going to be affected the most? Yeah, we've really seen the worst conditions, Shannon and Tim, in northeastern Montana, including Valley County. In fact, we can look at the latest drought monitor. This was issued today uh, in coordination with the USDA and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Look at the red areas on this map. This is the extreme drought, and this just continues to worsen here week by week. In fact, we expect to see some areas in exceptional drought as we go into next week or perhaps even the week after that. Want to show you the soil uh, moisture right now, the crop moisture index here. Look at all of those areas in orange. That's severely dry. That's the entire high line. And again, most of northeastern Montana, but even Helena, Great Falls, Lewistown, starting to see excessively dry conditions here. Just to compare this for you, nine and a half inches of rain so far in Great Falls this year, just two and three quarters in Glasgow. And since May 1st, just to put this into perspective, 4.11 inches in Great Falls, 0.72 inches of rain in Glasgow. So putting this all together, this is the third driest June on record, the driest May and June. We had the driest April, May and June, and the driest January through June through much of this area. Of course, conditions 